What about for the aces where we had six combinations? How can we work that out? Well, in this case, we're working out combinations of the same card. So we can't just multiply like we did with the ace-king, where we have two different ranked cards coming together. When using the same card, this is how you work it out. You have four cards, then after you take one out, you have three left, because, well, you can't be dealt the same, say, ace of hearts twice, right? So we work it out as four times three is 12. But using this reduction method, we then have to have the number of cards we are using underneath like this. Think of it as we need to choose two cards and then choose one card. These formulas are the backbone for working out many poker problems. For example, say with starting hands. You'd be dealt one of the 52 cards in the deck, then another of the 51 remaining cards. Or 52 times 51 over, remember we do, we choose two cards and then one card, so two by one, works out to be 1,326 possible starting hands in Texas Hold'em. And we just said aces is six combinations. So six combinations are pairs of aces, leaving 1,320 that aren't aces. So using odds, we can say 1,320 to six is the chance of getting aces, or around 220 to one, which is a little less than half a percent. And what about for ace-king? Well, 1,310 to 16 is around 82 to one or slightly more than a 1% chance you start the hand with Big Slick. So when you get dealt these hands, you really want to make sure you make the most of them. But how does knowing combinations really help us make decisions at the table?